Hi, this is Josh, and welcome to a video series on MooLab. MooLab is a powerful audio and MIDI sequencing software. The first few videos are going to show you how to set up MooLab and get ready to create music. Here's just an example of what you can create using MooLab. Let's look at getting started setting up your audio. When you first open MooLab, you'll see a window like this. If it doesn't automatically prompt you to set up your audio device, you can go to MooLab Audio Setup. And from here you can select your sound card or your external audio interface if you have one connected. You can also set up your MIDI. If you have an external MIDI keyboard or controller, you can set them up here and route your in and out ports for any of your devices. Once you have that set up, you should be good to go. You also have a virtual MIDI keyboard here if you don't have a USB MIDI device to play instruments. You can right click on it and show the virtual keyboard. With this open, you can use your QWERTY keyboard on your computer to play notes. So click on the piano roll to generate sound. You can change these to whatever you'd like and set up your own kind of keys for your keyboard layout. Now let's look at the interface. On the left hand we have the tracks. We can select tracks, rename them by double clicking or right clicking to bring up a drop down menu. You can add tracks by clicking this little plus button you can add instrument tracks, audio tracks, or generic tracks. At the bottom we have the mixer, or the racks. The racks correspond with the tracks up here, and you can assign them by clicking and dragging. You can adjust volume with the volume faders. You can also add insert effects or instruments, any devices, into these slots. You have control over the stereo width with this knob and the stereo panning with this knob. At the bottom you have where it's going to be routed to. Right now it's routed to this master rack. You can add new racks by hitting this plus button here. And it'll create a rack. This rack is empty and you can rename it if you'd like. This is how you could create groups or bus tracks. Say this was a drum sampler like a kick drum. I could route it to the rack I just created called drums. On the right side we have the browser. From the browser we can load presets, select devices, drop effects in, or other VST instruments or effects that we have on our computer. Let's add a bass drum to this rack. For that I can go to the MUX presets, make sure I'm in the factory library. Under instruments I go down to drums and I'm going to select the three-layered bass drum, and I can drop it right into this rack. There's so much more you can do with MooLab. We'll cover more in videos to come. <laughs>